Okay, what is earnest money? Let's talk about earnest money. And what is it? Earnest money is a form of deposit. Okay, it's not actually required in a real estate transaction. However, it does show intent. Remember, we are trying to in show the seller that your intent is to move forward and purchase a property. Okay, can the seller just keep your money if they feel like it? No, 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 because a, a, a contract is executed between a buyer and a seller that identifies and sets forth the terms in which uh, the buyer agrees to pursue in order to get a mortgage and to close on the purchase of the property if certain things happen, such as passing an inspection, uh, getting the home appraised, being able to secure a mortgage, etc., etc. Whereas for a seller, it keeps the seller honest too because it says to the buyer that the seller has agreed to these terms and will not change them. They're going to leave the appliances that are in the house. They are going to leave the light fixtures that are there. They agreed that everything would be in operating condition and if it's not, perhaps they'll have to fix it or give you a credit for that. So it's really important to understand that your earnest money is protected. The state of Illinois is really important. It feels that's like a major thing. It's put in an escrow account for the mutual benefit of both you, the buyer, and you, the seller. Okay? Can either one of you claim a default at any time for any reason? No. Okay? I can't claim a default. I'm the realtor. Okay? The only one that can actually do that, as far as I know, is an attorney. And the earnest money is not released until both parties agree that there was a default and one party can keep the money or not. If nobody can agree to it, then it actually gets turned over to the court system to make a determination by a judge. It's that strong. Now, does earnest money get lost ever? It does. When people don't listen and follow the rules of what they agreed to do and then want to change the rules midstream when they have no right to. Okay. It's very rare, but it does happen because people are people and people like to do people things. Okay, they have to follow the instructions to the agreement that they signed and executed between the parties. Have I seen sellers wanted to change their minds and not sell? I have because they maybe realize that they can't find something that they want to buy in the price range that they, they, they can buy after they sell. Best thing is anytime there's a problem. Go see your realtor, tell them what the story is, maybe include the attorneys, and let's have a discussion to see if we can't resolve whatever the issue is. Level heads prevail in most instances, and uh, but you can rest assured that your earnest money will either get applied towards your purchase at the closing, or if you can't perform, be refunded to you if you have followed all the steps and were unable to perform to the agreement that you made with the seller. Okay, there you go.